connection. He claims that his cat helps him uh, score points with his dates. He says that every time he meets a woman, he always notices the uh, same thing first. Please welcome Don Shasha. That's, that is a strange last name. I, it just, I mean, Woolery is too, so I, I can't really, but what is Shasha? What is it's that? Sicilian. Sicilian? Yes. It is really? Yes. I never would have guessed that. Palermo, Italy. A and what does it mean? I don't know. <laughs> Well, good, Don. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. What's the first thing you notice in a woman? First thing I notice is always the breasts. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, but the thing is... Well, at least you're honest. I'm, I'm, sure, honest. I'm, honest. I'm sure a lot of men would, say, would be afraid to say that. But actually. it doesn't matter. They don't have to be big. It doesn't matter whether they're big or small. It's just the first thing you notice. Yeah, it's the first thing I notice. Yeah. But, you know, if a woman chooses to, like... Were you uh, deprived as a child? I mean, did you... <laughs> No, <laughs> I think it's because I'm short, so I'm at eye level. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Got to show everybody the three women that Don had to choose from for his first date. First, it was Judy. She describes herself as happy, funny, and slightly crude. Then Jody. She claims that men like her hair, her smile, her teeth, her personality, and her thoughtfulness. Finally, Carrie. She says that she hates to sit at home, and if nothing else is going on, she doesn't go shopping. Now, you chose Judy the first time, right? Yes. Yeah, and uh, there was a problem, as I There recall. was a major problem. Yeah. There. It just didn't work. Yeah. I was too short. I was too bulky. I took her to a bad restaurant. Um, nothing I did pleased her. Right, I remember. And it just didn't work out. It went south. Big time. Yeah. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll meet the woman that the audience picked for Don and uh, hear everything that happened on that date right after this. Stay with us. <laughs> the TV, Pat. I know you're watching the TV. Come yeah, in the, I'm watching TV. I caught you. I caught you. Come into the kitchen. Come into the kitchen. What do you have to say to us today? Okay, what? I'm proud that I'm single. The thing that bothers me worse is why don't the men put down the seat on the commode in the bathroom when they're finished? <laughs> Big problem. All right, you know, I, I never knew why this toilet seat thing was such a big deal. Because I've heard women say, you know, you should leave the toilet seat up, or no, down. Right. Leave the toilet seat up. But I never knew why until I got married. One night, we were laying there asleep. My wife, I heard her get out of the bed. She went down the hall. I heard this splash. <laughs> women fall in the toilet. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's why guys don't, they, we don't realize that. Until somebody pulls you aside and says, look, they fall in. That, she came back, she said, I fell in. I fell in, I was in the toilet. I said, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. I never did it again, right? That's not what I want for my wife. I didn't marry her to leave her in the toilet. For Christ. I did, just had no idea. The audience picked Carrie. She's backstage. Say hello to Carrie Harmer. Hi, Carrie. You're in kind of an interesting position. If you indeed saw Don's first show, did you see it? Yes, I did. Oh, you did? Yes. Now, what did you think of him when you saw it? Because you were one of the girls he could have picked. Yeah. Um, I actually was thinking what he looked like under his clothes. Oh. Uh, that's what you thought? Yeah, that's, uh, you're a weightlifter, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. So uh, you look pretty good. Yes. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something happening this week that I'm not aware of? I mean, <laughs> well, tell me about this, Dave. Well, we talked the whole week before, and we really clicked on the phone. We were getting along really well, and we planned to go rollerblading. That was a big thing, so we were going to go to Venice Beach. Okay. But her mom's a pilot, and I live in Bakersfield, and she lives in San Bernardino. So her mom decided to fly up and pick me up in Bakersfield. Really? Yeah, Dad's the co-pilot. No kidding. Well, that's kind of neat. But I had to talk Carrie into going because she didn't want to fly. I'm so sorry. I talked her into Well, you're your own parents. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. I will not even get in the car with my mother, let alone... <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a real endorsement yeah. for you. So I talked to her in the flying and, uh, to come up on the plane, and they arrive in Bakersfield, and then, as soon as they landed... So she... you got the whole family. You got the yeah. mom, the dad, and her. Yeah. She immediately jumps out of the plane, and, you know, glad to be on ground type thing. So she gives me a big hug, and I first saw her, and I remember seeing the tape, and she really looked good. She looked like she lost a lot of weight, especially in the face. She looked... Did, I you, was, did you lose I, a lot I was, of weight, She looked good. Thank you. Did you lose a lot of weight? Yeah, actually I did. Did you? Yeah. yeah. So you feel a lot better about yourself? Yeah, yeah. I feel a lot better about myself. Oh, good. Okay. 
So, so we, now mom and dad are there, and we you meet, go, Yeah, you we go immediately go jump back in the plane, and we fly back to, to San Bernardino. Oh. Okay. So while we're in the plane, every two seconds, dad's turning around looking to make sure, you know, I, I'm a gentleman, which I was, of course. You know, well, I'm not, I mean, you got the I parents right there I need there to ride back home, so I had to make sure, you know. <laughs> 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 I'm a good gentleman all the time. So after we get to uh, the airport, we land, we get in her Jeep, and we head to Venice Beach. Okay. Uh, we had planned to uh, go to one of her friends' party, and we were going to stay there and party. And, you know, after we got going, we were getting along really well and things were good. And, you know, I'm thinking, you know, I really don't want to spend time with her friends. I want to spend time with her. Okay. So I decide... <laughs> so I decide that uh, I want to get a hotel. <laughs> You're just getting a hotel room to stay over, right? Yeah, uh -huh. to stay yeah. over. Yeah. You know, okay. got to stay somewhere. All right. So we're driving around Venice Beach to about nine or ten hotels. They're all booked. So she's going, why don't you pull over and ask someone? And I go, well, no, I don't, you know, I, I'll find a hotel. So we'll I was tired tonight. <laughs> I had to go to the bathroom so bad, and he was going over every bump he could possibly find. It's a four-wheel drive, so it takes every bump pretty well, you know. So finally we find a hotel, and we check in, and, you know, the hotel guy... Oh, you're checking in with her? Yeah. yeah. No wow. check I, I, I... See, that escaped me. I, I guess they oh. got that before I did. I thought no. you were just looking for a place to stay over. No. So you both checking into this hotel? Yeah. Yes. Mm. And they asked me, you know, do we want two beds? And I said, no, just one king size. Just, just, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute here. <laughs> we had an agreement on the telephone. He knew, he knew how far to go. He knew that, you know, we, we, would, we would be totally, you know, adult about that. I told Carrie that nothing well, would happen that she didn't want to happen. Right. <laughs> I'm a gentleman. I'm a gentleman. So okay. I, uh, listen, her parents are the ones I'm probably concerned about more than anything else. So, so you, you check in and... So we get a hotel, we get cleaned up, and then we go to a restaurant next door. Okay. So at this point, I'm trying to get things going. Uh, you know, we're kind of tired from the drive and everything. So I, I don't drink that much, but I started drinking, had a couple drinks, and we ordered dinner, and things are going really well. A couple beers later, and we, I ordered sex on the beach, you know, since we're on the beach. So I thought it's that was drink. good. Yeah, it's a drink. Yeah. And then uh, after Is that like a Long Island iced tea? It just leaves you, you know, out there in Long yeah, Island somewhere. For me, it does. <laughs> now, is there is this an affectionate date at this point, Carrie? You've been, you know, holding your bladder all day, and I mean, you know. <laughs> yes, it was Chuck, actually at um, at dinner. It got... uh, I was. I'm going off the edge now. I'm starting. Yeah. What? At dinner, it got really in intense. It got what? It got intense. I was feeding him strawberries across the table. Uh huh. <laughs> That's kind of an intimate thing to do, I it was suppose. Good. It was a small table, but we were leaning over, we were holding sure. hands, and we started kissing. So it's romantic. Yeah, we, we made a, we kissed. Uh -huh. We kissed. Yeah. <laughs> After dinner, we're sitting there, and uh, we tell our waiter that we are embarrass me. Now. I won't. Okay, right. We tell our waiter that we're on our first wedding anniversary. <laughs> she takes Cake a ring. She right. takes a ring and puts it on her finger, and I hold mine under my hand so they couldn't see mine. And our waiter brings us champagne glasses with strawberries. Mm. So we uh, toast, and she feeds me her strawberry, and we drink her champagne. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh... <laughs> oh, you're such a sucker for anything. You really are. <laughs> so, so now what, what happened? Well, we were going to go dancing, and, but we didn't... It was getting late, and so we decided to have one more drink, and then we were going to go back to the hotel. I was kind of... I wanted to cuddle. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> you're on your own now. I'm you know own. that, don't so, you? <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. I'm just listening. On the way back, I, I gave her a piggyback ride back to the hotel. Mm -hmm. It's about a block. She's really light, so it was easy. I had no problem. Now she's lost all this weight, so you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now, so now, you're falling asleep. In the bed? I don't know. Did you fall asleep? I'm just assuming you did. What was the last? What's the last thing he said? The last thing I said to him was, "You stay on your side, and I'll stay on mine." Ah. It didn't end up that way, though. <laughs> Chuck, he likes to cuddle. What can I say? I, I, don't know. I don't know. So you cuddled. We cuddled. So the next morning you... Uh, after what? breakfast, we went to the beach and we went rollerblading. We rented some rollerblades and we went to Venice and all the freak shows and everything. It was right. really cool. Yeah. And we had a good time. She bit it a couple times. She tried to roller, rollerblade backwards oh. and she did the splits. And everybody on the whole pass saw her. It was embarrassing. Oh. But I picked her up and after that, she didn't get hurt or anything. She That's just good. was kind of embarrassed. And then I pulled her along. So I did all the work and she just stood there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the it should be. Yes. <laughs> so how did the date end? Well, we, we went back to the airport. She had to work, so uh, mom and dad gave me a ride back to Bakersfield, and the whole time they're questioning me. 
Give me all what these questions. The whole time. Did they ask you things oh, like I did? Yeah. And did no, you tell no, them? No, no, no. I just... Did, were you afraid? Tell me the truth. Were you? Uh, yes. I would be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, I would be, too. I'm at 9,000 feet with Dad. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to be doing any loops and flips <laughs> and turns. I didn't see no parachutes in this plane, yeah. so... I, so everything was okay, and yeah. they liked you, and you liked them, and yes. she liked yeah, you. Yeah, they liked him very yeah. much until he fell asleep on them. On the way home, this is so cute. He fell asleep on the plane, okay, and did not wake up until we land, until they landed. Oh, well, he was well, tired. not the whole time, but you know, it's up there. It's kind of quiet. They got the headphones on. And I'm in the back seat, so I just kind of, we, passed I, you away. know, yeah, passed away. Yeah. Would you like to? Would you like to go out with her again? Oh, absolutely. I'll ask her. Yeah. Ask Carrie, me. would you like to go out again? Don, I'd love to go out yeah, again. Come on, All right. <laughs> are just about the right size for each other. It yeah. kind of all worked out, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's too bad he didn't pick you the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it worked out, though, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Well, thanks for coming on the show and sharing your day. Thank you. Yeah, that's our show for today. Going to be back tomorrow with more singles trying to make a love connection. Till then, I hope all your dates are good ones. Bye-bye, everybody. Yeah.